Grimes finds. It's Justin and Gina. We're here for another exciting episode. Can you imagine like first time viewers right now? Check it out guys, we are heading out and we're gonna go to several different places today. You definitely wanna stay tuned to this whole video because it's not just one boring thing. First things first, I have an idea. What? You remember when I told you I wanted to do this morning? What? I think we might need to go by Home Depot, Lowe's. I need to build a lemonade stand. And I'm not gonna be selling lemonade guys, I'm gonna be signing up people to the Grimes Finds Militia. Y'all, I am so serious. Hey, if this video gets 1,000 likes, I'll put some real effort and I'm gonna start a militia. Cause look, if the government doesn't get this under control, it's just simple facts. That we're already seeing it in the media. People are gonna start taking this crap into their own hands. So hey, I think we should get a handle on it. Governors, mayors, local people, Mr. President. Cause I really don't wanna shoot anybody. I just, I really, it's not like something I wake up in the morning and be like, mm, things I wanna do today shoot somebody oh wait hey actually pull in here this is it this is it hey guys this is what i'm thinking some of y'all are like that just tuned in for the probably over here oh wait are they in my parking lot maybe they want to sign up for my militia see see back there maybe they knew before i knew that i was going to start a militia but this is what i'm thinking we build a stand hold on stop right here right here prime real estate this place has been out but we'll build a stand and we'll put it right here in the parking lot and it'll say, join my militia real big because there's like a lot of traffic here. Don't you think we get a lot of people to sign up for our militia? Probably. Are you going to join? Um, well, you're kind of, you have to. Okay. All right. So, Grimes Finds Militia is already up to two members, guys. And it literally just started like five seconds ago. So, I'm just saying this thing might be hot. You might want to jump on board. Let me know. Hashtag Grimes Militia if you want to sign up and help the innocent. But seriously, y'all, I'm so serious. Hey, a thousand likes for this. No, let's don't do a thousand. Let's do two thousand. We always get a thousand likes on our videos. Two thousand likes, and I'll seriously, I'll start a Grimes Militia page. Here's what it is. Again, I don't have to say it. What happened to that guy was completely serious. I still don't know that we're dealing with a racist person, let alone an idiot, right? Oh, Justin, you shouldn't have said that. Look, here's what I'm saying. I agree. The guy should not have been a cop. I don't think that's a fun thing. I don't think that that guy uh, should have been held down like that. I mean, obviously by three people. But here's all I'm saying, is all of the talk now has turned into racism and it feels like we're trying to take an event and make it fit a narrative. Because here's what we know. Actually, we don't know anything about the guy. Usually when you blame someone being a racist, there is a history. Not one news report have I seen of this, and I'm not defending this guy. This guy's an idiot. Actually, I think this dude needs a jail time. But think about it, not one freaking report about a previous family member or any racism in his past. Not one, not one report. But this whole event has turned into being about racism instead of stupid people. Because here's the facts, guys. All we know about this guy is this. This is who he's married to. Seriously, in court, I could probably make more of a case that he's not racist and more of an idiot. So this comes down to Look guys, why can't he just be an idiot? Why could he not have just made a bad choice? Why does this have to be about racism? Look, there is plenty of real instances of racism, but all I'm saying, and this might be one of them, it may come out that this dude was the freaking granddaddy dragon of them all. Or it comes out that like, hey, he wasn't actually racist, he was just an idiot. Do you see where I'm going with this? All I'm saying is, is hey, let's pick a real event that fits what we're trying to narrate. Now, some of you who just joined probably just left. So people told me, Justin, don't talk about it. But hey, I'm gonna talk about it. Why? Because I'm me, and I have an opinion on this stuff. Do, do you have an opinion? Yeah, um, not as much as you have an opinion. <laughs> so in closing that, look, I totally agree that the way that that man died was inhumane. Uh, but here's all I'm saying is, is we don't know that he did that because he's like, man, I hate this guy. He's black. Check it out. What if he's just an idiot? Seriously, what if he's just an idiot? And people go, oh man, he had like 19 freaking uh, complaints again, a man, or 17 complaints again, a man, it's got, he's gotta be a racist. Well, I actually looked those, cause I actually like to look at facts, little things called facts. And actually 17, or no, I think like 15 of the 17 complaints have zero information. So there's zero information on any of those, again, that points to he is a racist, let alone that maybe he just really sucks at his job and he should have never been a cop. 
So anyway, that's all I'm saying. I'm not justifying the guy's actions. I'm not at all. In fact, I already said, hey, if you're the person that skips around, boop, 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 and you just heard like, man, you can be like, man, Justin, Justin supports this guy. And I'll be like, you're an idiot. You're gone. Here's the deal, y'all. It is 50 cent day at the thrift store. So on the way to where we're going, we have to stop by there. 50 cent day. You can't pass up 50 cent day. See? Guys, I forgot to tell you something. So everything we buy in here, we're having a YouTube live auction Friday night. It's happening. We're gonna do lots of 10 shirts starting at $25. So everything yeah. we, what? That's right. Oh yeah, 10 shirts. She always trying to stop me when I, look. I say plenty of wrong things. Don't stop me when I say the right thing. So hey, check it out. Hey, everything we get in here is gonna be available for y'all Friday night live. So today is Tuesday, 50 cent day. Day. Hey guys, y'all check this out. So 50 cent day, look, Corvette National Museum. That is a killer piece for 15 cents. I mean 50 cents. <laughs> Hey, but check it out. Look, look at these vintage uh, Minnesota stockings. These stockings. Still got stocking caps. Sorry, stocking caps. But they still have the tags on them, like a Chuck E. Cheese one. I know it's not winter, but 50 cents. We're gonna throw these on the card and sell them this summer, maybe. Through all of these, I know it's not winter time, but we're gonna get as many of these as we can because they're 50 cents, and why wouldn't you? Guys, yeah, so look, I've been finding that Tiny Tune stuff. Look, we just found a baby Taz. That's gotta be vintage. They were selling it for five cents. That's killer. Y'all, we freaking just cleaned up on 50 Cent Day, but hey, check it out. Before I show you anything in there, we still have a ton of unboxing that you guys have not seen from the $1,000 worth of boxes. So let's hop over there right now and do a good 10 to 15 minutes of unboxing, and then we'll come back for something else. All right, guys, check it out. I just like this case, so I'm gonna put a huge lot of cassettes together because these are kind of, these are different. Folk tunes, Scottish, a lot of Scottish stuff. But just look at the color of that case logic. Y'all, that is a killer cassette tape case. Like that color, like, tell me that don't just, that says 80s. Yep. Yeah. Hey, all you Scottish people. Do I have Scott? Yeah, I think I got like 0.2% people from, from Scotland. Scotland. That's pretty cool. Scott, Scotland is actually one of the places I've always wanted to go because I am a huge fan of William Wallace. So we're just going to add these with these. Look, there's old records in here, yo. Like old. Oh, that's a whole stack, y'all. Whoa. These are old 78s. These are old, old, old. That's what they're called. Oh, look at that. That's a killer graphic. Look, the Goldman Band. Oh, that's a lot right there. Okay. Look at these. Ooh. Deca. Wow, these are in great shape. The Waltz. Man, Taboo. All right, guys, we'll do better pictures of these, but check it out. We'll put all these 78s in there. And again, guys, like, look, it's just a time thing. Look at the pictures. Look these up. This mm -hmm. could be a $1,000 lot. I don't know. It could be a $10,000 lot. It could be a 10 cent lot. I don't. Man, I don't. Does this go to this? For what, though? Oh, that's cool. Look. What is it? Hey, guys, what is this? What is this? I mean, this is the only other wood thing in the box. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Look, it's like a toad. Oh, it's hollow. Is he a drum? Is he? Is he that's what I think. Ah. Go. Huh. You Does can do play? the little slide thing. What? Like slide, slide on, a, on his spine. Yeah. Uh, well, what's this? I don't think it goes with that. Yeah. It's the faucet. Oh, <laughs> it's the maybe you can team. hold him up and do the slide thing ah. so that keeps reverberating. Like this? Yeah, so it doesn't have to sit on something. <laughs> <laughs> One dollar. Let's go. You ready? I've been filming. Sure you have. <laughs> Alright, check it out. This said miscellaneous basement. I'm kind of getting excited about this one. Not that. But look, okay, let's look in here. Little fun little stuff. Oh, is that an old Snoopy? That's pretty cool. That is old, yo. 
That is old. We gotta find this. That's cool. All right, hey, which one of you people out there older than me remembers this thing? There's something right there. I just cannot read it. Oh uh, yeah, it's like right there where his weenus would go. <laughs> oh, that's so. Oh, cool. look, it's a Scottish turkey. Turkey. <gasps> Roadrunner. That's old, yo. That is so cool. Warner Brothers. I 1948. What? No way. Yes. What? Is it plastic? Yeah, it's plastic. I don't think the plastics were out. In 1968. 1948. You know the plastic was out in the 40s, you dork. No. <laughs> uh, 1968. I don't have my glasses on. I don't even know where they are. They're right here. Don't That's set anything down. It's a joke. I never down. It's, it's all for the front. For it's the camera. For the front. <laughs> Two individuals. Oh, look. Door knocker. Oh, that's like cool. that. that is the uh, faintest is. door knock ever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. By Centennial 76. Was it a pin? Probably. Yes, look. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's cool, y'all. That is a cool pin. This is a fun little box. I think we're just going to go fun box right here. So we're going to do a little fun box. Done. Yeah, let's put them in there. No, I'm joking. Put those two toys together. <laughs> put them together. Ready? Here we go. Oh man, I always bubble wrap my styrofoam. Heck yeah, can't be more protected than hey, that. Yeah. Come on, I want some more. Cool. Ooh. What is that? Looky here, guys, finding more good Ooh. lots. That's hand carved. That's cool. Look, little baby antelope. That ain't even an antelope. That's a raccoon. That's a raccoon with an antelope. There's a baby raccoon hanging out with a. Oh, that's that's actually a impala, I think. Oh yeah, you're right. I think we found a treasure box right here. What is this? Oh my gosh. This is where all their hidden gems were. Yes, look. Looks like a Roman soldier. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Is the makeup still in there? Yeah, it's on your face. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Ew. Ew. Yeah. better. Yep. Ready for the camera. Alright, guys. Ready for my close up. <laughs> Alright, uh, look, it's got the box though. Look, in the lid. Uh -huh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yo, yeah, right. look at Make sure here. to put that, Justin put that on his face. <laughs> you nasty. Man. How's Justin's face holes? Yeah. Lechenstein? Whoa. Oh, look. Yo, this stuff's old. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. You can definitely tell they traveled. That's mm -hmm. so cool. Look at that. Right, so. Whoa, I think so, don't you? Mm -hmm. What is this? Clarinet reads? Oh, my. Oh, look, uh -huh. but it's an old clarinet reed box. That's cool. That's kind of killer. Look, it's a llama! Oh, we love llamas. Why? Because they're cute. They're cute. <laughs> llamas are cute. Oh, look, another box. Ooh. Hey, guys, what's in here? Look, it's a little green thing with holes. A green thing with holes. Sculpture Kellogg, Kellogg Studios. Like the cereal? What? That's what I'm thinking. It says Kellogg's. What, what is the dang smack frog in here or something? You know what I'm talking about? The smack no. Do you know what I'm talking about? The smacks? I, I, yeah, yeah, the cereal. Yeah. Here, hold that. Let's see if this has anything to do with cereal. <laughs> Kellogg Studios. We have no connection to the cereal brand. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Hey guys, hey, we're, let us unwrap this because look, look at all this little small trinkets. Ooh, the Pigeon Ooh. Forge Pottery. Pigeon Forge is in Tennessee. Hey, let us unwrap all this and we'll be right back. All right, guys, hey, we're going to finish this box, then we'll go to that so we can get this off of here, bro. Just pop this open. Look, a bunch of old paperwork, pictures, wow. postcards. I think that's postcards, yeah. Yeah, we'll go through this stuff better. Look, oh, I just love old paper. Diploma of graduation. Of graduation. Looks like there's a hat in there too. Yeah, let's see, what, let's see how old it is. Oh, that's cool. This is from 1945, y'all. What? How cool is that? that and their so tassel. Cool. How would you do that? That's like the opposite of a hula hoop. Hula hoop goes this way. <laughs> Tassels go this way. You know what I'm talking about. Am I supposed to say something? Tell them. Well, yeah. No, hey, they're... this is the top of a record player that I have not seen yet. But the, it's, y'all know, we found know. It. It's over there, so we found the top. 
All right, guys, these were the last two things in the box. I think I actually might sell this. Look, it's an old how to square dance book. Training manual, beginner square dance classes. We also have a lot of the records that will help you square dance too. Package deal, people, package deal. All right, this is the last thing. Ooh, that's pretty. What is it? Oh, look, oh, I love, I love old black like and white that. photos. This is gonna be a killer album. Oh my gosh, so cool. Look at those. Yeah, I love old. Is it weird that I want to like hang these in my house? No, man, I, don't I know think these it's people? cool, bro. I mean, you, th this is history. Yeah. Now check it out. So look, this is all what was wrapped up in that box. So what we'll do is just take like all these Impalas. I think that's what these are. We'll do these all as one lot. What do you think? I think mm -hmm. that's a good lot. Look, we got more llamas. Mm -hmm. Two, two uh, carved llamas. Look, we got carved camels. Those are cool. These are really cool. Look at that. I thought this little sculpture was kind of cool. It's a metal sculpture on a wood block. But, I mean, that, that took some skill to make that. Uh-huh. Looks like a little enamel covered powder box. Yo, that's killer. That's cool. And then we got all this other little stuff. So what we'll probably do is just a lot like this kind of stuff together. Uh, let's see if we find anything. That's signed 1981. Okay. And then this is just a little touristy piece. So what we'll do is, is we'll make a few little lots out of all this stuff. Look, here's some more wood stuff we can add to it. Uh, so we'll lot all this stuff out. So be looking forward to that. All right, guys, I think we're going to find some fun stuff in here. This said TV room and family. So Katie kind of figured out a little bit of the backstory. This was a couple. We know this unit's been here since 2004. That's a crazy long time. So anyway, it looks like they had a basement up north, and when they moved here to Texas, we don't do basements. So all this stuff went into a 10 by 25, y'all. So this is all the stuff that was in the basement. Yeah. We always find cool stuff in the basement. Always. I found some bean art. Look, it's a quail made out of seeds and beans. Look at this. There's mama quail. Is that a, is that a? Um... Yeah, there's another quail and there's extra seeds in here to replace that. Look, she's getting old. She ain't as pretty as she once used to be. These out guys. Dry cleaners, like little advertising ashtrays. So look, there's three of them. So these are probably what, from the 60s? Probably yeah. the 60s, I bet. But check it out. Little advertising ashtrays. We'll put all three of those in one lot. Good. Down in here. Look, it's old tape deck. Dang, it needs to be bigger. Is that the is that the See, Panasonic? nowadays it's like the smaller, the better. Back in the day, it was like the bigger, the better. Because this is just like weenie. Like if you walked out to the park like this, people would laugh you off the streets. You needed to be like this. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know, with the big old speakers. Back in the day, y'all don't know about that. Nope. Let's go through here. Ooh, fun stuff. I love fun boxes. Hey, we I didn't show. Oh, look. Is there more? Yeah, but you know, some of these can be gold. The old glasses, if the glasses. Oh, are yeah, yep. Oh, look, they're empty. Are they all empty? Okay, so it looks like just a bunch of vintage glass cases, cigarette cases. Vogue. Old Vogue. Mm. That actually might be a little good lot right there. Yeah. I think somebody might buy that. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's do this whole box. That's what all this is. Oh, look, here's the glasses. Oh, yeah, how fun what? is this, guys? How fun is this? Look, oh, yeah. Look at these. I'm about to change it up. I'm waiting. <laughs> Do my eyes look big? Yeah. They feel really big. <clears throat> oh! Huh? Mmm. Oh, this is fun. Bathroom box. Fun, fun. Oh, yeah. Old bathroom box. From Ooh, the I 60s. can smell it. Oh, the butler. I'm just joking. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, oh look. It's a strawberry. Oh, so cute. that's cute. Let's see what we got. Look at these old school toothbrushes. They got any cartoon ones? That'd be cool. I'd use a cartoon one. I would too, like an old school one? Mm-hmm. All right, I don't even know what we're going to do with this, guys. Y'all want some old toothbrushes? No. All right, let's see. I don't know, man. This is Old Spice. It smells like Old Spice, too. This is fun. I like old stuff. Look at this. What oh, is this in here? Captain So Chest. Oh, oh, yeah. Tell me y'all don't want that. I love Old Spice smell. That's vintage, though. 
Yo, that still smells really strong, y'all. That is killer. Right. Look, oh, we got another one. Avon. Y'all know I love me some Avon. <laughs> Did you see that I had Avon at my house? Nuh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, just old bathroom products. Shower gel. What's in here? I think we're just gonna do a vintage bathroom line. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's do you cool. remember these? This is Q-Tip brand too. Is. Oh, Q-Tip? <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> Please don't do it. What? Uh. <laughs> I hate that. Watch this. No. Oh. How'd that get in there? Hey, there he is! I'm sorry, I heard that Jake hit you. I know, I'm sorry. Alright, buddy. <laughs> don't judge me, act like y'all ain't got waxing ears, weirdos. <laughs> All right, guys, so, oh, this is just all old bathroom stuff, y'all. This is fun. Yeah, I think, babe, we're just going to have to do a big box lot of this. Look, Avon Fruit Basket. Fruit Basket, man, that brings me back to high school. Hey, Fruit Basket, what's up? That's what they used to call me. <laughs> all right. Look, just all soaps. They were robbing the hotel. Got an old Barbie. What is that? Is that her jacket? That's weird. What is that? Oh, hey, lady. Hey. Oh, somebody gave her a bad haircut. She did not get a fair shake in life. She was made in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, y'all need to step up your. Actually, Hong Kong is. Man, bad situation. Never mind. <laughs> yep. You going? Yeah. Right now? Yep. All right. All right, check it out. This is from 1968. So cute. That's pretty cool. This is from 1980, the year I was born. Le Mutt. Isn't this cool? We'll put these two together. 1968 Snoopy and a 1980 plush. Yours. One dollar. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Not really that exciting. Over it. Ah. Is that more Blue Holland? I think so. That's Ooh, look, it looks like a little jade top. It does. Jadeite type top. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> That's so cool. I thought that was silver. Yeah, look at that. What is that? It's one of those things Catholic people beat each other. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Look. What? Oh, are these little perfume bottles? That's what I was thinking. I, I was think like, they are. Oh, that? they are, I think. Oh, yeah, and then you and do you it. you do yep. that? Look, a little food dog perfume thing. We know how much like Gina loves so food dogs. Weird. I love food dogs. Let's see if we got the match. I think that's what all of these are. That Little one's perfume cool. things. Are they aren't Avon? They? Oh, these aren't like for cocaine, are they? <gasps> I hope not. I, I wouldn't. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what if I did? One, I wouldn't be yeah, surprised. Be Two, I'd be like, oh my god. Look at these, y'all. Koi fish. That dude's on crack. If I was a koi fish, look. <laughs> I was cross eyed. <laughs> Whoa, y'all look at these. They're starting to smell oh, like look. perfume. Look at that oh, one. That's, that's pretty cool. intricate. Whoa, look at this. Why are you laughing? Because I'm back and forth. <laughs> Whoa, look, that's a food dog, too. Y'all let me know what these are. Are these for. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I would think, or it might be for some. I don't know. Opie, I don't know. These are too freaking cool. Look at this. There's tons of these. Hey, we got to look these up. Yeah. Yeah. Because we got to figure out uh, how much these are worth. Because look, these oh, are really cool. pretty, y'all. Look at these. It's weird that it has a scoop. That's what throws me off. Yeah, that's why I don't know. Like, yeah. Look at that carved one. That's so cool. Like, what are you scooping? I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. It conveniently fits in the nostril. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Look at these, y'all. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, that might be solid. Is that jade? I Look thought at jade that. was a lighter green. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's definitely an older cocaine uh -huh. spoon. Uh huh. Oh, you think so? That's older for sure. 
and that's a solid piece right there but look at that look at the yellowing on it and how uh -huh. it was cut All right, two more. Got this little guy in here. All right, so hey, I don't know, guys. Let me know if you know exactly what those are. We can figure it out, but it's always fun when you interact with us. So not in the chit-chat, down in the comments. Let me know. Are these for Chinese cocaine? Yo, it is, is it not hot? It's very hot. It is freaking hot. It's, oh, my God. Can you hold this camera for me for a minute? It's hot. I got to take them out. Take what out? My sweaty balls. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let me see. What? Uh, ah, it's so hot, y'all. It's Texas. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing this on camera. Okay. I got my sweaty balls out.